Hello everyone and thanks for coming over. Today we're going to do a full review on the $69 Amazon mail detector here. I want to talk about a few things about it and if it's worth the $69. It's originally $99 and they have a $30 coupon on there where you can get it for $69 right now. And I'll go ahead and tell you right up front, if you're a seasoned detector, uh, this definitely is not for you. It is what it is. You get what you pay for. It's cheap plastic. There's no padding right here. All these parts right here are metal. The brain is, is kind of cheapy plastic, not waterproof. And start from right here down, it's all plastic. The little nut and everything right here is all plastic. And they say the coil is waterproof. Have yet to try that yet. I would definitely not recommend this to any seasoned detector for sure. This is it's just a little... It is what it is, like I said. I'll tell you one of the main reasons right now why I do not like this detector. Let's go detect a little bit. All right, here we are out in the yard. And when you turn it on, you just turn it on by this little switch right here. And it go ahead and automatically cuts it on. And our discovery mode is it's in all, all metal mode right now because it's showing zero. And you can discriminate that by going up uh, by eliminating the iron and so forth. But you have your menu button and you have your pinpoint button. And the pinpoint works pretty good. But as you can see, everything's on in, this, in detect mode right now. So let's take it here. Let's see if I can find a target. I know there's a few targets around here. All right, right here I found a target. And you can tell by that low tone, it's, it's probably iron or something like that. And let's get the pinpoint here. And you can see the levels there on the right of the screen. It gets higher the closer you get to it. And here's the part I don't like. You see the screen now? After you detect after a while, the screen, everything just cuts off. It's still on, but it's not detecting anymore. So you could be out just detecting and not even realizing, and this thing just cuts off. The screen just goes out, and it's not detecting anything. And what you have to do is hit menu again to turn everything back on. And then you're back detecting again. So this is one of the main reasons I do not like this metal detector. It cuts off. After a while, it was just, just a minute. We're sitting here. We're just on our way detecting. And then we go away to detect more. And it's almost like it goes into sleep mode. So if you're aware of that, and make a conscious effort to keep looking down, but you might miss something. If you're out detecting and that cuts off, it goes to sleep and you don't even realize it, you might miss a, something important. But it does detect, it does find, it does find things, so I mean, it does work, but the part where it goes to sleep is that really, really annoying. And the menu is kind of weird to get used to. You hit menu, and then you can go through and go to all the settings, volume-wise. Uh, you can notch stuff out, the sensitivity, and there's a backlight. You can turn the backlight on. It's a little weird to get used to. Now let's go ahead and show you what it all comes with. Here's a box. It doesn't say a model or anything on there. It just says metal detector. You open it up. It comes with a user manual and still doesn't have a name. But I'll go online here in just a minute and show you that. But it says uh, number 3040. And it's just got a few little instructions in there and whatnot. And it comes with a very cheap set of headphones. They feel kind of weird, and they're really plasticky and lightweight. One of the cool things about the, the headphones, though, it does come with like a little click wheel. It comes with a little click wheel right here, which you can turn the volume up and down as you want to from the headphones themselves. So you can actually have the volume up loud on the detector, and then turn the volume down right here as you need to. That's one cool thing, but like I said, they're cheapy. I don't know how long they would last. But being they are cheap, you can just throw them around. Don't worry about it and get you another set. And it comes with this little case. 
and it comes with one of these shovels. There's a little handle. It's even got a little compass on the bottom of it in case you get lost metal detecting. You can unfold it and use it as a shovel itself and then it has kind of like a little pick thing on here. You can set it up to use a pick as well if you want to. Not too bad. The shovel actually feels pretty well made. It looks like it's got a bottle opener there too and a little saw thing on this side. So, and like I said, it does come with a shovel. There it is put together. And like I said, it does come with a compass on the bottom if you get lost. Metal detecting. Maybe you can find your way home. Uh, it's got a rubber handle right there, which is pretty comfortable. Not too bad. I think it might be usable. Well, there you go, guys. That's what it comes with. $69, not too bad. It does work. You just have to be mindful about when it goes to sleep to turn it back on. All right, here we are. I've got the, the page pulled up with the metal detector on there. It's called a Joy Spot. Professional metal detector for adults. Pinpoint gold detector with LCD display. 10 by 10 waterproof search coil. All right. So it's called a Joy Spot is what the name of it they're calling here. I was going to see if they have... Uh, it says brand Joy Spot. It doesn't say anything like that on the detector itself, on the box, or on the instruction manual itself. And you can see that it is $99.00. And then it has a $30 coupon on there. So you can get this for $69 at right at this moment. I don't know how long that's going to last. It's got 10 reviews. Uh, and it's like three and a half stars, almost four stars out of five. I would recommend this detector for children maybe ages eight up maybe. Uh, that's getting into detecting with the family and stuff like that. Uh, it would be a great first detector for a child. As a seasoned detector, somebody who's used to detecting... This might make a good backup just to have in your vehicle, in your truck, in your trunk, uh, just to have on hand, just in case you're somewhere and needed to mail to detect something, somebody lost something, or uh, you happen to find yourself somewhere and you got the opportunity to metal detect, but you didn't bring your good metal detector. That'd be the only way I'd recommend this. For $69, it's not too bad. Like I said earlier, uh, when it goes to sleep and you don't realize that it goes to sleep and you're still detecting the way, you could miss something. So you have to be vigilant and watching the screen all the time for that. I don't like that about this detector. You get the shovel and the headphones, which is, is okay. They do work, but like I said, the headphones are kind of flimsy and, and plasticky, and they feel cheap. The detector itself is lightweight, so it's, it's not too uh, bulky and clunky, so it's, it's uh, really easy to detect with it doesn't put too much stress on your on your joints while you're doing it. It's not too bad. At a $69 price point, it's okay. At a $99 price point, it's not. So, there's the skinny on the Joy Spot cheap $69 Amazon uh, detector. And I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. If you're just wanting to get started in detecting and you're not going to do it like all the time, you just want to play around in your yard or go to somebody else's property or something like that, it would be a good detector for that, just for getting started into detecting. And I'm basing all my opinions on this detector because I have a Vanquish, uh, MindLab Vanquish 440, and that's the first detector I got, and I kind of got spoiled with the quality of that one. If I had gotten this detector first before the Vanquish 440, I probably would give this one a little bit better rating than I am right now, but I, I've kind of got spoiled with the quality of the Vanquish. The quality is a whole lot better, and you can feel it in the product itself and the way it works and its uh, functions, features, and all that. One more thing I dislike about this detector is that it takes two, not one, but two, 9-volt batteries, and I don't like that at all. You'll have to invest in some uh, rechargeable 9-volt batteries because 9-volt batteries are pretty expensive these days, and I guess that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Handy out.